Today I become a realm walker and spend 100 days in Nightingale. My plan was to go forth and search for a place called the Watch. First, I would have to fight my way through variations of different bounds, having this odd looking person called Puck cough up other dirty little secrets, and battle my way through all sorts of bosses hidden in each realm. I would also craft one of the strongest looking weapons in game that give me unparalleled damage. ET Dubs, if you do enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button and let me know what game you want me to play next. And now, without further ado, I spent 100 days in Nightingale and here's what happened. Character creation was like none other. The juiciest of juicy stuff. He was me and I was him. The Fae have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed, in the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin, and out flowed the pale, swallowing all in its path. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale, only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. Looking quite fancy, might I add, I began learning some of the basic controls, picking random junk up and bonking faces close by. Get down, son! Ooh. I would also quickly learn that running away was sometimes the best thing to do. Fly. What the fudge? The fiends have caught your Ooh. despairing stage. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people! <laughs> Jeez. Your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Ah, Nightingale. Survive the realms and rebuild all that has been lost. As I entered what looked to be the prettiest realms, this would be the fantastical guide Puck. So we have the minor card cleansing. Right now this world is covered in like a blood dark infested world we place it and it's gonna cleanse the world i hope <laughs> oh it's so pretty oh that is beautiful Continuing my way through some woods up ahead, I took a little peek at their tier system. Excited to get the ball rolling in these new lands, I immediately started causing chaos. Fireball? <laughs> Fireballs, baby. And then, can we charge it? Yeah! Fireball! Did I get him? <laughs> you gotta throw two, and then you're good to go. The first of many quests had me clearing out a camp full of bound, trying to break this weird looking heart so they didn't spawn anymore. <laughs> Don't get up. You know what's gonna happen. Get down. Stop. Buddy, like, I, I'm only gonna tell you one more time and I'll kill you. Hey, that's your fault. The NPCs inside had quests and much to say. I just wanted to get started on my base and build my first Karen. There we go. So now, if I press M right here, it says travel to respite. So wherever I am on the map, travel back instantly. Different realms, it obviously has like a little loading screen because it takes time, but... Ooh. With that finished, it was time for a few basic benches, a nice campfire to keep me warm at night, and some rough builds that would soon come. Now you're gonna just stay there and work, right? Oh, look at that! Yeah, he does! Oh my god, they never had this before! It would only follow you. They never had commands for anything. So you could literally just set them down to work, like chop, mine, all that stuff, and come back for them. This would be my very first starter house. Between a rested buff and some food, the wolves had no idea what hit them. Literally. We got wolves! You just gotta knock them down and then show them who's boss. You know, show him who's boss. Like that. Next was my companion and myself clearing out this little intellect outpost, making my way towards another point of interest. What I found very interesting was having a dagger that used durability instead of single throwing daggers. A2 started me off great. I had a nice rested buff going, new pieces of armor with a better gear score, and upgraded equipment that would give me lots more damage. Next thing I knew, I was so close to dying to the last thing I thought possible. I just want to crouch! Oh, it's C. Never mind, sorry. Oh! <gasps> What the fudge, dude? I just did a 
Did you see that? 1400 damage? Is that even possible? No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. With a new temple close to me, I was about to be overrun with no Wily nearby. That's that's a lot of people. Holy crap. Where'd they come from? Ooh, hey guys. I'm gonna knock everybody down. <laughs> Where did you guys come from? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Holy crap, Joe. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. All that was left to do was race back home and give this new place a name. And uh society with my inventory as full as it was to the brim my new storage is built would do just the trick but man did they fill up so fast each one of them something that did make me the happiest thing ever was having these deers trapped between a rock and a hard place because they couldn't climb up my fireball would be the perfect thing to get the job done and have so many yummy foods for the day to come looking to storm the front the next day the first sight of power was massive i had to figure my way in without being detected did i forget to mention it wouldn't be a great game without spiders why are there spiders in the oh my god all it took now was a lot more panic-inducing trust falls. Praying that these zaps wouldn't kill me and trusting Wily with my life as I was locked in. Oh man, I love bow and arrow rip. What happened? This definitely seemed like a place where a boss would be, right? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Whoa! Damn. Boy, I don't like that. I don't like that. Go get him, buddy. Ooh, I hit him in the head. I could finally say I'd never seen a boss like that before. And on top of that, my bow and arrow was rocking this boss's sock. No, I had one more hit. But then I was like, no, we're going to run into stamina. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> With the final shot slaying the creature where it stood, I was so ready for what came next. Ooh, oh, my God. The magical pineapple. We got pineapples today? What is it? Empyrean Knowledge. Oh, oh, that's a sexy card. Oh, God. Now for some more R&R &R time with Puck and Portals. Oh, well done. Well done. You've proven yourself worthy of the title Realmwalker. All I needed to do now was place a card down to open up this portal and jump into the next realm, the Sylvan's Cradle. It's fine, we got it, portal. Now, don't get me wrong, as much as I loved my companion, it was time to trade in Wily for a Reuben. There's, there's so many people. Oh, I need Reuben. Oh, I'm so sorry, where my guy? Reuben's got the drip. Got the mustache, got the hat from Wizards. Today I was about to learn the hard way why it wasn't smart to charge into a new realm with lowered leveled gear. Oh my god, okay. Uh-huh, yep. I totally knew they spawned. Panicking at its finest, I had no idea how to handle these new bounds. Does that guy have blades? Woo! That guy has blades for hands? Get down. Oh, yep, that was the one who killed me. You know what? I think that was the one who killed me. Thinking this would save my life as I thought to build a base in this realm? Fairs, man. Ooh, take that, punk. <laughs> I mean, that's what I get, you know? Let's go, Ruben. Let's go, woo woo. Let's go, Ruben. Let's go. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Uh -uh. Oh, well, we okay. Yay. The only thing I did for the rest of the day was build a bigger, better, and more awesome home. That's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, that's what I wanted you to do. Look at this man go. He's a genius. He's a genius. Wait, did you just finish it? Yo, holy crap. You had a lot of wood. Also, my nose is so itchy. While figuring out this whole porch area, I needed some beams for the structural integrity. I also gave the inside of this place a second floor and some lights for the nightlife in the game. Not that there was any, but who knows? Maybe I'd have more guests one day. Day five, part of me wanted more for myself. More upgrades, more gear score, just more damage. With a little more setup throughout the day, more benches needed to be placed and built respectively. I did also find a new tool in which I fell completely in love with. All that was left to do was empty out my inventories into different storages I had placed on the table. One day soon, I would have bigger chests and more room for my pockets. With a brand new day ahead of me, the biggest journey yet was waiting to be explored. Also, more deer. Killing trapped deer was my go-to on meat 
for a while. I also figured I could leave my companion in the area while farming rocks. So while later in the day, I found the best way to gather more plant fiber. This little swamp area had so much packed in one spot, there was no reason not to get serious. I then made sure to pick up Wilson from farming rocks and began finishing up with some certain blueprints in my house. The next day, I found some augmentations to build. These puppies gave my workbenches upgrades and allowed me to craft even better gear. I also worked on some bobble looking upgrades that would give my weapons and tools a higher gear score. Then I did it. I became Mary freaking Poppins. With that same umbrella, it was time to put it to the real test because yup, this game did have a weather system and the perfect place to test it out. The level on these guys though, let me tell you, they were 40 and I was 22 or like 26 and that made things extremely hard. The best thing I could do at the time was pull them into camps nearby and let everyone else hit them. What I really hoped for was changing the minor card to this realm. Each realm visited, they had these minor cards that could buff or debuff the place. Sadly, a sort of corruption was preventing me from doing so. All I had to do now was find the right things to unlock in my progression tab. Not only was upgrading my tools and weapons important in this game but so was a rested buff and the right foods done it he's done it by he i mean i i have done it and it feels good man finally was able to upgrade my gear gave this mad lad a freaking great axe and pickaxe and then on top of that i have it too look at this i got a simple sling i have to upgrade that eventually but i have the refined axe and i have the refined sickle beautiful thing i love this look at this Woo! roasted berries beautiful roasted meat even better can i do tack no we don't want to do tack wasna no injury self Ooh. all combined together i would start to see a great change in everything i was doing sadly i pick a fight with the wrong thing though okay well i gotta go sideways for that stuff well that's fun what I did catch a glimpse of before dying was actually some new ores nearby. What looked to be copper as my new refined pick was loving it. So I gathered, scoured, and searched for anything I could take back with me. A running theme that did take place for a while, unfortunately, was me trying to mess with some bears here. I even had to fight a pack of these demonic looking rat spawn. Everything was just grossly overleveled, and sure, I could just lower the difficulty, but I wanted a challenge for the time being. I just killed myself. I blew myself off of the friggin' thing. Oh my god, dude, I did it again. What I found out a little later into the game, getting to the next tiers was all about gear level. That meant I needed more tier 2 essences, and the only place for that was inside Sylvan's Cradle. These green looking orbs were the key to all my problems. That and the occasional farming of resources to actually craft said new things. It was like a sick joke for how many bears were trying to kill me though. I died a handful of times that I'd rather not show, but the townspeople definitely helped me out here. Nope, nope, dude. <laughs> the bear just wants a while. Oh, that one was me. Get him, get him, get him. Yes! <coughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I also managed to find this weird looking half mammoth boar type creature. Better than that. <gasps> oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> That was a chunky shot. Oh, hello. Nice, look at that. He got him. Between the refined builds that I would soon craft, the plan was to maximize the amount of augmentations I could. Soon enough, all my workbenches would be the upgraded forms of all their previous selves. Now for some new equipment today. Okay, so our stuff does go up, which is good. But the gear score still sucks, dang it. A word of caution to always remember. In Nightingale, you can always upgrade things, I'm talking individual pieces to each tool or weapon. Heck, even the food could have more food if that made sense. But before I knew it, I was Indiana freaking Jones and rocking the coolest fit. Oh, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh. Sorry, that's making me nauseous. On day 12, I made my way back towards the realm with 50 plus deaths. I found that using melee was probably the best way to go early game. It had a nice block and a little pushback for smaller bounds. Not only that, but I could get a lot more hits in compared to the slingbow. Pushing past everything, it was time to start searching crypts and in doing so, making my way towards the site of power. The first location I went to was tricky because of the bound waiting for me, but I did also find some luck as well. Sometimes these places would have glorious amounts of loot. I would just have to figure out a way to make my pockets bigger. My gear score was growing stronger with each passing day. If I wanted to succeed in the game, I would have to be curious about everything, build everything, and just try to craft whenever I could. Me, on the other hand, I didn't do so much of it. But with a new day and the Apprentice Caster title, this was only just the beginning. Something that did help me out today was finding a new reason for healing. Having two spells on a single tool was too much for my brain, but once I found that sweet spot, I could do damage, back out from the fight, and if need be, heal up as much as I could. It was a real game changer if I do say so myself. Jeez, the 
magic just wiped them out like no tomorrow because there might not be. Oh, headshot. I think I knocked him off. Hold on, let's try it again. Ah, come on. Until I met the cave that would change it all. I don't like this. I do not like this. I know there's going to be spiders. Oh, it's just bears. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Whew. Wow. That wasn't so bad. I lied. I lied. It's so bad, guys. It's so bad. If I couldn't even fight some measly bears, my gear score needed to be better. It was already 40 plus 2, but something still felt like it was missing. This was a missing piece to another problem, but one that still filled my heart. Oh, <gasps> sweet. I didn't think that would work. I can remove all this. Wait, can we label these? Oh, we can! Oh, I was about to say, I wish I could relabel stuff. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, this is going to be hard. As I took some time to organize around the place, I had more room for more of my hoarding problem. Out of everything I unlocked, this nifty gadget needed a place close by. Sylvan's Cradle and... Oh, cool! I could literally have the portal over here finally. Oh, so I don't have to go all the way over there again. I mean, the other place is really cool because it looks awesome, but... This is awesome too, I got my separate portal. Now let's see if I was ready to fight a few more bears, shall we? Wait, oh. Yeah, that's where they jump at me. Again, I can't, f okay, we gotta stick to melee, stick to melee, unfortunately. The bounds were easy in comparison to everything else. The block for sure helped. As luck would have it, my fingers started listening to me again and gave me a chance to strike back, killing the first of many bears, but feeling a sense of relief. Now for this next cave, which definitely wasn't terrifying and didn't have a single bear in it. They can come outside? That's great. That's lovely. That's so good. Whee! Guys, we're going for a ride in my favorite rocket ship. Drifting through the skies, I just got... Something new I learned about today was having a broken arm. Apparently blocking too many times would lead to it and in the moment left me so confused. It seemed like my food wasn't doing it. So on day 16, I decided to look into a little more. Spice was the next thing on my list and I needed to start some farming for seeds if I wanted it. The ingredient was used in a lot of recipes and onward. For the seeds, I needed a watering can and some barrels to catch the oh so good water. If there was one thing this game had, it was building and how everything just seemed so cozy cozy vibes all around me. The next day I started learning more about corrupted zones inside the Sylvan's Cradle. Something was spreading and stopping stuff from growing, allowing for a lot more bounce to spawn in and cause chaos around the lands. Whoop, time for another bear. Are you ready for some sight? No, no, I'm done with bears, man. I'm done with bears. I, I'm so done with bears. Come on, get out of here. Don't you worry though, because the townspeople always had my back. While arriving to what looked to be the entrance for the site of power though, some NPCs in the area explained the issue going on, learning that Puck would also have more secrets about the land, and in turn, destroying this artifact he would tell me. But honestly, I just gave up within the first few minutes because I could not find a single thing he asked for. So as I continued to this next quest, I found mushrooms that needed a potion I didn't have at the time. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Umbrella! Approach the corrupted mushroom. Looks infected. This would be a perfect candidate to test Desma's formula if you had the potion with you. Wait, what? With Nightingale still full of surprises, I was shocked to find what I did while exploring this other cave. Apparently, these places had a chance of spawning in a boss with amazing materials. The complete opposite happened as I found my worst nightmare, lurking around the corners and just freaking me out completely. Today would bring the cutest thing ever, and honestly, just a great addition to the game itself. Oh, he's rolling around and everything. What? When did I get a dog in this game? Hello, hello, little guy. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? I also made sure to have chests with food in them, making sure it was closer to my campfire and keeping everything organized. Day 20, I found another tool that I had no idea would be so good. I was truly missing out on some serious climbing stuff. Acquire a simple climbing pick, sandstone, and acquire a makeshift torch. Hold on, that's my actually first uh, climbing pick, holy crap. Uh, this is going to be interesting. That's how that works. Oh, 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 we're climbing, climbing boys. This is different. I've never used this thing. I don't want to hit spacebar. I feel like, okay, I want to right click though because it has like a grapple hook thingy. Oh my God, that looks so cool. Now for the hard part, finding a way down safely. Oh crap. 
That was close. Holy crowly moly. Okay, I'm gonna heal this. While finishing up more POIs in the area, spiders, man. Oh my god, the freaking spiders. Oh, I got spiders here too. Oh man, I really don't like the spiders in these games, but hey. They were everywhere. In the woods, on the mainlands, and even in caves. It felt like I couldn't escape them even if I wanted to. I did find another cutie hiding inside a cave though. A boss called Triath the King. Triath the King is no more. This was the first time I would step inside the Sylvan's Cradle, finding a bear to fight and actually standing my ground. How cool is that, man? I was loving every moment of my accomplishment. I made my way back towards the one thing I needed. It was time for some fighting the scary swordsman balance and not dying. The only reason I was able to clear most of these guys out was due to the companion. Having a mute shield was great and honestly life-saving. Now for the one thing I came for, the next boss to this realm and all things headache worthy. Oh, that is massive in the middle there. Not Malcolm in the middle, but massive in the middle. Oh, that's a bear. I think. Whoa, what the fuck? This was probably one of the more annoying bosses because of its healing factors. On multiple occasions, this bear would run around, suck a bunch of trees dry, and be restored anew. They did this several times, and I just couldn't piece it together. It literally took me until the end to realize I was supposed to be hitting the trees while this boss regained HP. I even had it at the ends of HP and misclicked one too many times. As you could imagine, I was heated and looking for a rematch. At first, I thought it was gear or maybe the tools I had. Anything to give me an upper hand with just a few more points of damage. For some reason, that came down to me having a bow and arrow in hand, thinking this would solve all my problems and more. The bow and arrow just wouldn't cut it. My axe was going to have to do the job. I found myself using this tool so much to the point where the durability itself was being drained many times. Thankfully, repairing in-game was made easy and gave me no problem. This was it, ladies and gents. The end of the road for bears, and for this boss, and for me. The next day, I learned that a new NPC would spawn in, giving me a new direction and having me place another card in the crossroads. I had no idea, but man, I was excited. For now, I would travel into different realms. Having access to base portals now, that gave me unlimited tries I wanted. Looking into it, I was in search of an upgrade bench. Apparently, they didn't come into play until later game, so I spent way too much time trying to find something I just couldn't get yet. What the bench did, however, was level up the weapon tools itself and multiplying the damage in ways that just I never thought possible. What I really enjoyed about this game was the handcrafted realms that were part of the base story. Each one provided materials and resources, but more importantly, looked gorgeous. Where the heck did I even spawn in? Hello? I'm like underground, I think? Whoa! Look at this place! <gasps> what the fudge? Hello? What? There's a lady talking to me, guys. This place looks so good! Oh! Oh, man, it looks really good. Day 29, I had one more attempt in me, looking for another essence trader, but this time in a desert realm. Anything to give me that damage I needed. I searched high and low looking for this guy, but no cigar. All right, I gotta show you guys something. So we did a little, little, little bit of uh, wardrobe work. My gear score is 39, which kind of sucky because we had a higher gear score with their other stuff but it's because we had the upgrades on them. All I could think to do today was grabbing more ores in the area. Everything was useful and played such a big role. One of the roles being food. Just basic meat could be upgraded in the best way possible. <gasps> right, oh my God, look at this. So we could do ones with like, oh man, this is crazy. The more meat we get, we could even make better meat here. I may have also taken a little peek at tier three stuff, okay? But no harm in that. With the new portal open today and one that I created, the gods must have been listening because I found something out of this world. Quite literally. Come here, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Halt's eaten. What is that? What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like it. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh, my God. Holy crap. That is something else, huh? You need to stop. Oh god, it hurts so much. Make it stop. Hold on, I need some food. I think I killed him. I think I killed him. I think I killed him. Maybe. I, what happens? Or No, I chop it down? Oh, whoa! I'm getting new stuff. Eaten. Eotin heart. The Eotin heart, baby. Oh, was that... <laughs> 
It's just like a boss standing there. Oh my God. As I came across another trader, they still didn't have what I was looking for. Maybe it was a part of the updates, but normally they would sell blueprints and lower tier stuff. It definitely felt like things were changed and moved to certain places. <coughs> the watch. Today was a new day for something big. First, I would have to remove most of the stumps in the area for more space. A new home was in play and one built with the Tudor materials. Not having any beams or bricks needed for this, I did need more wood. Besides farming wood for the foundation of this place, I also needed some seaweed for a little food. That was underwater near the shorelines, which was the only way to really farm them as well. I think I did forget to mention, I have a new weapon. Do you see this weapon? This weapon in my hand? This thing is, is friggin' amazing. It is like a huge upgrade. I also gave it a bunch more damage. So on top of it, it is also doing uh, 234 damage. Absolutely delicious. I could finally see myself doing more damage. The only thing that mattered now was having this place cleared out so I could gather more copper. Doing the same thing in another realm, this new sling bar was both amazing and just looked the part. The tip of it was coated in metal and it just felt like a real ranged weapon now. It also made farming tier 2 essences 10 times easier. Maybe I spoke too soon, but I was definitely hitting harder, okay? And I was able to progress at a decent pace. Even the swordsman couldn't touch me. I had the dodge down while shooting. Quickly reloading to rinse repeat. I was cooking, okay? <laughs> day 35 was the biggest day yet because it was another day of upgrading my gear and all sorts of goodies to the next level. Okay, so we have this rugged mining pick. Beautiful. So now this thing does 127 on mining, which is amazing even my first ever gun i'm talking a red blooded full-on bang bang gun truth be told it really wasn't for me though oh look at this new axe that is spicy <gasps> oh my god that's beautiful it's also that time in the video and if you made it this far comment cheetos down below was i ready for this next adventure who knows all i knew is that my base was cramped and i had to test out my new stuff in another realm leading me into the desert once more and finding these weird looking chest pieces moments later i never thought i'd say this but i'd be fighting some grasshoppers this realm was practically made for climate picks as they had a field day. I couldn't get over how much time it saved me climbing over using the umbrella. Something else that caught my eye was beautiful, man. It was mother flipping beautiful. Also, for no reason in particular, these lands would now be dubbed the Grasshopper Lands. As everything was coming together today, I wasn't sure what to expect but the unexpected. Oh, look at this place. I mean, one of those, I can't remember what they're called. They're like big uh, auditorium or something auditorium places. I don't really know, but that is awesome. This place is going to be juicy if I can kill stuff. All right. Oh, my God. I don't know if this is safe. Oh, shoot. That is literally okay. Unless my friend could pick me up. Hey, friend. Oh, beautiful friend. Oh, God. Now, here were the things I did enjoy. The view was breathtaking, and this realm was definitely unique. That beautiful exploding whatever it was definitely stole the show too. I also enjoyed the low gravity so everything felt more floaty. Now, here was the stuff I didn't like. Being bullied off the side of the mountain and then spawn camped like it was Call of Duty 2. Ow, make it stop. Make the pain stop. Oh my God, it hurts. It hurts so good. It hurts. What if I just hide right here? I was pushed off with every attempt I made as well. It was so frustrating because now I had to climb from the very bottom. It definitely didn't stop me because I had to reach this little camp and find more people that could lead me to Nightingale. Whoa, it's people. Oh my god, I didn't... Holy crap, there's a lot of people here actually. Hello, Sylvia. Um, Churi. Uhuri. What is this? I wanted. I got Amos, F, and more goodies for me. The next day, I was back inside Sylvan's Cradle. It turned out Tier 2 Essences was needed and so was some more wood. So while finding that transmuter again and playing a card, this would hopefully increase the wood harvest. Taking a teeny tiny break, I decided to help some fellow comrades. The quest was to defend people and its center, but because my bow was just so overpowered, this was a walk in the park. <laughs> Oh my god, that was close. With all the wood I farmed up the other day, I had them being processed down on day 39, making just a few more changes to my gear where I could. Having the advantage, I decided to spend a little more time farming for wood. This was my bread and butter, my prized possession for more tier 1 essences and the repairs needed. Today, I wanted to get my new place built. As the beams and that were being processed, I was curious to see what else would be unlocked in my progression tab. My gear score was also level 51, by the way. Can't forget that. This would hopefully be it, though putting up a test build to see how it would look, and then deciding on the walls I had up. 
I wish there was one more down too, so I could put another door, but maybe I'll do two doors. Uh, okay, so lumber, beams, lumber. Look at the auto build, guys. Auto build is beautiful. Planning out the roof, or rather my next floor, I noticed a problem with not being able to finish it up. Turns out I needed more beams built for that extra support in the middle. That, is that right? One, two, one, two. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's try that again. Ooh, look at it. It's already given that like cool aesthetic vibe. Slowly finishing up the innards of this new place, I was so pleased with the cozy vibes oozing out here. Thinking about placing some lights outside, I found the most interesting looking lanterns. It's, it's sleek. It's definitely sleek. Do be looking sleek. Now to plan and build some lights actually inside the home too. I also had the idea to test a few things out, giving myself a more visual way to look at stuff. Do I not have etched ingots? Was that a different ingot? You lie to me? You lie to me? You sack of son of a gun. Okay. Oh, that'll do for now. Because it's five of each outside, which is crazy. We'll do the inside because those are just one for now. I was able to figure out a better light source than the ones I had. It wasn't that nice orange color, but definitely fit the vibe check. The other ones kind of reminded me of like a weird dungeon type of thing. Just to kind of take away from so many lights. Because it's nice when you walk into the hallway. Like this feels really nice. Right? And it looks nice going in. But then when you walk in from the other side here, I feel like there's too many lights going on. Okay, that's better. That's much better. I think it was the torches, like the lights back there that were kind of setting it off for me. As I was looking to add more to this place, I needed it to feel more homey, less cramped, and to move everything from starter house two to number three. Just for now. Just... <laughs> I have something there, you know. Moving all the workbenches to my new place was next on the list, while making sure the second floor was eventually filled out too. Actually not that bad. Somehow with all the lights from the first floor, the second floor was lit up as heck. Wait, what's BG? Oh, in the background, background, yeah, yeah. It's so nice, you know it's building, it's just very, oh, oh man. When it's nighttime, it really lights up. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do we like it still? <laughs> I mean, it's really nice and bright. Hold on, close the door, close the door. That feels sort of safe oh the outside is nice though it really lights up the place oh yeah that's bright 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 my next big brain idea was when i had to move all my materials from my old chest to new chests oh wait i wonder if i could hold on hold on hold on hold on idea idea big idea i don't know if this will work but if it does awesome if it doesn't damn it eastern cairn all right, we have two Eastern Cairns. Take all. So hopefully this works. If it, if I did it right, it should work. So, so I made the respite go directly into my home now, my new home. Ha ha ha! Look at that, and we're already here. This would be so much easier moving everything to and from my other place. It actually started to feel like I could go forth and play the game again. We're almost there. We're almost there. I just have to move the rest of these things, and that's it. This is gonna be the heavy one. Hold on, I'm gonna shake this. And then I gotta lick it. And then I gotta take a bite of this. This is gonna be spicy as heck though. God. You shake, you lick, and then you eat. That's the content you signed up for. That's the content you're getting. Day 46, I met up with the crossroads once more, looking to jump through the portal to Helkin's Reach and find myself something to do. Look at this beautiful place. This is a new island I came to, I found. This place is crazy. Mm. Ah! Oh my god, I forgot that was a thing. Oh, 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 oh. Um, well, I need help. Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> my friend's gonna help me, don't worry. With all the new creatures I found, the double bladed bounce gave me a run for my money. Don't worry, this guy's almost dead. This guy's almost dead. If they hit, no, just kill him, kill him, kill him. Hit it one more. Are we both down? Friend, you're supposed to be helping me. The guy literally has one HP too. Oh, come on. This next place I started exploring wasn't actually a place of importance. I was just stubborn and loved the jumpy pads. With a new morning here, I started finding more foods for my belly. All right, so let's do... These are just like basic stuff to help me with broken legs and arms. Six. I can get some salads. That'll help so much. Yeah, yeah, I sure can. What about some dough? Can I get some dough? Can I get some of that dough? Now to just pray to the cheese it lords for all my food helping me out. Next, I was told to find different crashed wrecks with any survivors that might have still been alive. The toughest part wasn't so much finding the people, it's because there were so many different wrecks and there was only one person to find. I did, however, find myself some fun chess pieces to fight again, adding a little boss into the mix because it was so great. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Did you hit him? Yes, 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 yes. Keep hitting, keep hitting. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
The last thing I did was find this bigger chess piece that looked like a second cousin and took no mercy whatsoever. Yeah, we can't fight that guy. That like what even are you? Looking for any upgrades I could the next day, I really needed something. Anything. Or a cool new wood axe. It's weird though, because I don't get it. Like my pickaxe and axe are both rugged, but my axe is 54 level 54 with all the upgrades i was making to my weapons and tools the next best thing was my sorcerer's table that would give me infusions two of them i guess because i mean that's all i can do okay two of them the best place to test out my new upgrades was in another realm connected to this portal oh <laughs> i don't think i want to tap that sucker oh god oh god it is a hippo that's not a normal hippo oh my god no, 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 no. Oh, what the fudge? They have like beautiful woman faces and then they open up and it's scary. This place made me happy because it knew that I just was so much stronger than before. And the only way to make this place less frightening was changing the realm card. I'm going to make it bright. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that looks so much better, man. All I could do now was be great and hopefully kill this new beefy bound. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, what is it? What is that? 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 That's different. You got two shields. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this man. It's like he had one big shield. He ripped it apart. And he's just like, I'm Captain America. If I had one shield and it was big and ripped it apart. And, ah, I'm sorry. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And we killed him. Good timing. Holy crap. Where's my friend? Friend. Friend. I don't see a like a down or anything. Did friend get like knocked into next tomorrow? Where's, where's the fudge? As this realm continued to fill up my inventory nicely, my companion would actually be the one carrying it all. Teamwork made the dream work, baby. I also had a nice little surprise from Pucky Boy. The plan was to do a little more searching around the Welcome's realm. Trying to find these wrecks were tougher than I thought, only because there was so many around and I just needed the one. The last place I would think to look was a cave. And no, not for a wreck, but for that juicy whore. And that does it. Oh, 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 there's scorpions. On day 50, I was determined to drip out my companion one once more, looking to also raise my gear score at the same time. While everything did feel a bit lackluster, I was also having some real trouble with more bounds. The main reason I didn't really enjoy guns so much was due to the fact that they were single target shots. My sling bow, however, now that beautiful toy could hit multiple things, accidentally shoot the ground as well, and it still did damage. I just made sure I always had the charm of sniper so my damage didn't fall off too much. Looking back towards some caves, knowing full well they had a chance to spawn better ores. This was legit the weirdest combination of insects to creatures I would find. From scorpions to grasshoppers and just random bosses in the middle of nowhere. While being back at home the next day, I figured it was the perfect time to start planting and watering down the majority of my crops. Come to the realization that I could have just crafted seeds from plant fiber in game, not once did I think to look into the mercenary. At least for a while. Instead, I made myself a brand new spanking slingbow. With over a hundred more damage, I was so excited to see how far this toy would take me. The only thing left to do was to make sure I had some even better delicious looking food. Today I was a man on a mission, here to conquer this big looking observatory and having to deal with more dual wielding bounds, some of which would die faster because of my beefed up damage. Getting myself closer to the secrets and stories this game told, I started to learn more about Nightingale, learning that a creature lurked deep within that not even Puck knew about. As I was told to finally meet up with the one who would guide me to the next boss of this realm, I leaped from ledge to ledge, diving down onto some rocks and learning about these blue platforms that would move on contact. Opening up the two sides to this very new location, I had to destroy some bound hearts. Scared for my life at some points as I ran from the bounds. No. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Wait a minute. We got places up here too? Hello. This next part took me a good 20 minutes. Jumping from every single angle I could to see the last piece of the puzzle wasn't even that hidden. I was just bad at jumping. <gasps> There's the third one. Oh my god, you've been there the entire time. And it's open. Let's go, baby. Hello? As I was allowed to finally enter this new area, I cleared out a few more bound hearts, making space in my inventory and getting myself ready for whatever came next. Hello? Oh, definitely a boss fight. I hope you're ready, Olive. I'm not. Oh god, oh god, what are we gonna fight now? Oh, the fudge is this place? 
Oh, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. I see it. I see it. I see it. It just threw rocks at me? Excuse me? The thing about this boss were the mechanics. So far, they were night and day in differences, and the only way to actually do constant damage looked like this. There we go. Oh, wait, I can shoot this thing. Holy crap. Panic started to set in when I thought I needed more ores from outside, learning quickly that this boss also threw big chunks of rock at me that exploded into ores needed. Simple enough, I would have to build the pillars out and cheese it until the thing smacked itself silly. The HP on this one specifically, clear as day, and definitely felt a lot more tankier than the rest. But as I swang, swung, and swode, my god, that was... do. No, okay, okay. <laughs> I tried. Woohoohoo, baby! Oh my god. At last, my captivity comes to a close. Oh, baby. Me too, man. Jailers, the century's gone, and mere mortals. I rejoice that so far from my place of my origin. I had yet strength to subdue it. Oh my gosh. It was not always like this, but with these passing moments, I become more phantom than fireman. For a moment? Pedestal over here? <gasps> that's ball. Oh, that's so cool. I love the looks of that. We got the Welkins reach side of power cleared. You've unlocked a new section in the progression menu. <gasps> I got my first blue thing. Holy crap, look at this. That's huge. Oh my god, yes. Tier 3, guys. Tier freaking 3. I couldn't believe my eyes. Or maybe I could, but I definitely missed this huge and crazy thing. All right, so we can make potions. Great health potions with just tier 1 essence, bones, and glass. That's actually massive. 300 HP to heal? Yes, please. But there's new stuff, like the Dauntless Slingbow. The Mythic Mystic Slingbow? 700 and... 61 damage as explained by the npc i was now able to head towards a new realm by the name of mag witch marshes there was no way i wasn't going to see what this place had Ooh. look at this oh that's probably bad news right already already are you kidding me oh crap oh they gave tier three okay tier three this is beautiful by the way I guess we just stand in here to conquer. Yep. Okay, that's how that works. Got it. Like capture the flag, and then we capture, and that's mine, right? <laughs> Ta-da! Meeting up with the camp in the area, I was told to clear out a few different factories, activating switches in the process, and trying my best not to die. What was that? Oh my God! Big hippo's back. That, big, that hippo's got a big butt. Look at that thing. You see that? The belly eater. Oh, it's so fast. It's so fast. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are you fighting someone? Oh, you're fighting this guy? Look at this guy. Challenge completed. Bound Slayer is dead, guys. Bound Slayer is dead. Activate the switch. You got it. With my game face on now, I was about ready to tackle this newfound realm. First, I was going to need more explosive marble. That was my bread and butter, my ammo that would rock anyone's socks. So after a bit of farming for smaller rocks, the number of ammo, the number of my ammo grew tenfold. As I had another factory in front of me, I noticed that my companion was having so much fun without me. Lightning, lightning, what the fudge is happening here? I also found myself quoting the Avengers movie. Hi, big guy. The sun's getting real low. Oh, why'd I go towards you? Sun's getting real low, sir. Oh. Why is he looking like that? Oh, God. Did he just get faster? Woo! Yeah. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Is this the power? I was off on my way, like any other sane person. Day 58, I found it amusing that my explosive marbles would react so much with the firebounds. The big guys were also definitely a bunch more tankier, but still not that hard to deal with. I think what became the hardest thing though was trying to find my way in. Everything had to be cleared out before I could progress, or at least the doors were open. I think I found something. Oh, the door opened, that's why. I don't know why. Okay, this way. 
We did it. Pushing forward after speaking with the head honcho himself, Nicholas, I was told then to let the guard know that it was okay for me to check out the site of power. With a few bounds waiting for me inside, I made sure to quickly dispose of them, learning that harpies were not in fact dragon ladies, and that they were just jump scares waiting to happen. What is that noise? What is that? Oh, it's those weird bird things again, the, the dragons. I don't want your girl got cookies. There's a little bit of poison on them. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You coming? <gasps> yeah, okay, 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 okay. This couldn't have been a better timing because of the one thing that scared me so much in these lands. I'll kill you. I'll kill you, mother trucker. Yeah, you don't like me now, huh? You don't like me? I'm getting poison, poison, poison. The fight overall was pretty tamed. As long as I ducked and covered while getting shot at with poison, the scariest thing was just me missing my jumps. Kill it! Oh, belly of the beast is down. Ooh, and it's right by the door too. All right. We got some meat bones. I hope we can keep doing these bosses because they do give really good materials for upgrades. The marshes of the site power cleared the, the, the titan of industry. That's just me. I'm a titan. Thank you. With a new day here, I was clearing out more of my inventory. By that, I meant accidentally taking everything out of one chest and putting it into another. Sorry, fat finger. I know. Never again. I also learned of a new rumor from Sassy. My adventure would lead me to finding a new person by the name of Nelly. Though for now, I was looking into much better things. With all the new parts I would need, this allowed me to finally start building the highest tier workbenches from excellent smelters to better woodcutters. If this new weapon of mine was going to take part in my adventures, it needed to be the best upgrades it could. Even the sorcerer table and the masonry workbench was about to have the level three freshest smell. All right, here we go. This is the new weapon I have officially crafted, the Dauntless Sling Bow. Ooh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at that, though. And the last one never had a little, like, aim reticle thing. The damage difference, look at that. I was using um, this one. We were at 351. Now we're up to 800. New realm, new me. Legit. This was about to be the start of something new. And now I was quoting High School Musical. Who knows what would come next? Look at this. Look at this thing. It has like a circle thingy. I didn't even crit and I did 662. Oh, that. <gasps> oh, what the? Oh, she's really running. How did that not hit you? What? There we go. What did come next was my damage over 1700, okay? And killing these sand looking demons. I don't know. Between all the damage I was dishing out now and the ores I started to collect, climbing up the side of this mountain would lead me to my next objective. Hey, it's Nelly. I see you managed your way here <gasps> without a proper voice! guide. She got a voice! Given the determination etched on your brow, I'm guessing this encounter is not simply by chance. I was told you might help me, or vice versa? Then you've worked up an appetite for greater things in the face of disaster. First things first, how exactly did you find me? Merely followed an old network and it led me here. A portal network? Ours is far from functional, so that must mean... I'm a realm walker. Someone in my line of work ought to know by now never to make assumptions. So tell me, in your own words, what brings you to me? Uh, oh, this, yes, yes, definitely this. You seek Nightingale? Yes. Oh, my heavens, no. <laughs> Who planted that seed between your ears? Nightingale is off limits. Inaccessible. Completely and utterly. You certain the city is unreachable? With the portal network dismantled, access was sundered. There's no door left open. Not until we can find a safe means of reopening Nightingale's transepts. If not Nightingale, then where are you headed? With one safe haven out of reach, I continue searching for another. For these souls here. For all who are lost. Which is why we are trying to reach a place known as the Watch. <gasps> yes! It's a curated realm and so should be easier to access, there we can all take our bearings and the factions can convene to plan how we might return to Earth. Oh, the watch was a place I've been wanting to go to for so long. I guess the watch means I'm in the end game now. But why are you gathering uh, in the desert? At the bottom of this cave, there used to be a permanent portal. Unfortunately, without the portal network to direct it, it's just a hole leading nowhere. That's the reason we've assembled this gate lest some wandering fool get stuck between realms. But if we manage to secure its connection, we can make it safe again. Better yet, we could give it a new destination. Are you suggesting a permanent portal to the watch? Exactly. The goal isn't only to open the door, but to keep that door ajar. Rebuild the network. 
or at least a piece of it, like it was before the Calamity. To achieve that, we need a portal stabilizer, which is why I've got my hands on this broken hunk of machinery. If we can repair it, we can attune the portal in the cave to the watch, so long as Quatermain's lived up to his promise. So how do we fix it? Three crucial components are missing. A reliable heat source, combustion fluid, and an attunement conductor. Typically, the Calcularia distilled such things from pale lodestone, but it's impossible to collect from the interrealmic space with the bound about. Thankfully, Calcularia technologies are founded on magical principles. Thus, scarce resources in the realms can substitute the missing parts, since they're imbued with the same properties. Or so Victor's assured me. Alright, so what resources do we need? We need the following. An Elder Jotunheart, a Pelicetic Etched Ingot, and Automaton Charm Oil. All attainable from specific, fantastical creatures. How exactly do I obtain these from it such- It certainly won't be a walk in Central Park, but I'm glad you asked. Not many are willing to brave the necessary dangers. While I don't condone hunting such majestic beings, I can't condemn it in our current situation. Know, however, that many human deaths have been suffered by these creatures. Personally, I do some digging, attempt to make meaningful contact. Hostility is in their nature, but is not their only nature. So this is going to be a far and wide quest. Where do I start? Now that is the question. As you may have surmised, there are paths forward from this realm. Two, in fact. But accessing them is no simple task. They're under the esoteric lock and key of druids centuries dead. And much as I'd relish the chance to solve their mysteries myself... Oh no, I want the bloodshed. ...the is on your agenda. <laughs> yeah, okay? yeah. The resources we need are through the second site, in the Gauntlet. Oh, that sounds awesome. The Gauntlet? That sounds wicked. With all the different things scattered throughout the lands, I finally found a cave close by. <gasps> oh, yes! Oh my god. This is the thing for my, uh... Lightning ammo, I think. It's so blue. I love the look of that. Planning on finding this realm's transmuter, I changed up the card played here to something more my liking. Now for some fun as I found a temple nearby. Oh! Why is there so many? What the hell? Good, that's not what I'm supposed to shoot. Come on. Yep, come into the corner. I don't know why you're doing it, but I'll, I'll take it. With a change of scenery soon enough, this place was awesome. Normally, I'd pass up on most of the stuff, but because this realm was higher tier, I was finding so many great things to encumber me. Next thing I knew, I found the best thing yet. <gasps> Beetles! I'm going for them. Oh, wow, even with that damage, still nothing. These are going to be huge upgrades for food, though. Up ahead was the first of many seals that needed to be broken. I just had to find a new sigil around the place and listen to something sing, or maybe it was speaking to me. Salute the crown door. What is... Salute the crown door? What do you mean, salute? I then decided to find the next location, doing the same thing with the sigils as I looked around, climbing all the lady statues, and getting the puzzled piece together. Emote. Salute. Oh, damn. Oh, you are kidding. Literally. Salute. Okay. Cool, I actually... A uh, fine day, gentlemen. Examine the sorrow seed. Seed pulsates with sorrowful energy. Break the seal. Seal... Energy dissipates, the seal has lost power for now. Because I figured out this odd but satisfying puzzle, I needed to go out and clear the first one I did. That's the... Oh, the door itself, I think. Thank you. From everything I gained the other day, today was all about upping my food intake. More specifically, getting that tier three stuff cooking. What is aromatics? <gasps> Whoa, I can make shashi sash sashimi. Beef Wellington? Oh. The next few days, I would travel back to the deserts, looking for an essence trader here and then searching around the forest realm. I was looking to buy more seeds just to see if there was another way for this to work. So while waiting for my food to be done cooking, this was the outcome of that. Oh, berries, perfect. Broth is, I mean, broth is broth. Aromatics is aromatics. We'll do 12 of those, which is awesome. Now it was time to see if it was possible to get some more gear score upgrade. Ooh, snazzy. Look at that. Look at the weapon. Love the look. My curiosity was killing me and I had to see what my damage was like now. All right, damage wise. Oh, 2000, 2000, baby. Let's go, 2,000. I may have also gotten carried away from some seeds. Seeds, so many seeds. Now, oh, see, when I make progress like this, I am so addicted to this right now. What I did have to try at some point was how I was going to mine all this weird stuff. Whoa, what is that? Oh, 
look at this. See, this is where it gets crazy. Like, things can get up to this level. There was one that I saw was, like, you needed level 70 to mine. This one is 100. Like, who's to say there isn't something stronger? So, like, endgame, there is a lot of endgame to this game. Now for the next little sigil farming. Easy enough as everything was around and figuring out the puzzle was simple. What I would come to hate was being jump scared to death. Let's go to 900. Can we make it to 9? Ooh, almost 1,000 HP and almost 1,000 damage. That is ridiculous in every way by the end of the night i was really trying to figure out where these hidden sigils were the seal seemed to be the toughest of the bunch oh wait i see it i want in let me in oh god oh god oh this is a bad idea bad idea good idea bad idea good idea all right any goodies Ooh, we got some goodies explorer jacket tier three plus that's kind of huge, actually. Looking to jump back through the portal the next day, this was it. Decisions, decisions. I was thinking about going to the further one because it was just further out. But as I began my descent, it was time to face what lurked around the corners. With my booty at the top of this pyramid, all I had to do now was press this little blue cube, unlocking the doors and unsure if I wanted to do this next part. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Dude, I am overpowered. When I hit you in the head, you're gonna be dead. You missed it, back it up and down again. How's it going? What's up, Mojo? We're fighting the big boss. We made it to the realm of scary stuff. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and I also upgraded the heck out of my gear, man. Oh my God. Beautiful stuff. Uncover the Empyrean knowledge from the pedestal. The pedestal? All right. All right, so this is the pedestal. There it is, guys. The Radiant Site of Power cleared. Beautiful card, too. Find the portal into the crossways. As I was one step closer to my goal on day 70, the next card had me a little confused. But I knew the first gauntlet was on the other side. <gasps> oh, holy crap. Here we go. The place looks pretty nice so far. Beautiful, nice water, all that stuff. As you could probably tell, my excitement was through the roof and more. <gasps> oh, so many blue gems. I don't know what you are, but I want them. They're so blue. They're like a baby blue. Okay, hello? I'm not in a deep water. So right here, the last thing we have to do is do Gloriana's tier, which I'm guessing is actually gets the watch. So once we finish that, there's another sling bow. Like, imagine that. My sling bow right now with like max upgrades so far, it does about a thousand damage. Like if I get the mystic, <laughs> oh, baby. That's game over. Between all the new ores around the telepad, I found my nemesis looking for a rematch. Oh, God. This bear has over 10,000 HP. Isn't that crazy? Like, what the fudge? Not today, bear. Not today. The only thing you had to know now was my luckiest shot of all time. Oh, I hit a 19,000. I hit a 19,000. Holy crap. Dude, I hit a 19,000. I'm not going. I'm not going. I know this. I know this. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Seeing that my tools still needed some upgrades, I forgot to unlock the blueprints for my progression menu. Fishing. Yeah, fishing will do fishing too. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened? I think I literally just died due to no food. What? Come on, man. Give me a break. What are you doing to me? As I continued on with my upgrading plan, I moved my excellent workbench to a different space, trying to find myself a better bow. Simple military, which gives us the extra right here. Crafted ammunition items yield 1.2 times, and then crafted am ammunition items have a 1.6 times. So that's a double. I, I think it stacks, I think, which would be 2.3. Uh, eight times the amount of what we get. Though if there was something else I did need, it was a better mining pick. Farming any new ores would allow me to craft better stuff and just so forth. All right, so this should be, right now we have the rugged mining pick, which is two plus. This is three plus. There you have it, guys. Look at that, 70, level 76. With a brand new and beautiful day here, I was caught off guard by how far I'd come. The first time I ever played this game, I lasted maybe a week tops. This was crazy. 
80 hours later and I was here. So as the days went on, I focused more of my farming on new ores. Anything that screamed neon signs, really. I fought my way through another giant bear, exacting more of my revenge with a great big smile on my face, and then going around the rest of the realm and mining anything that looked pretty. This is what a few hours of farming looked like. Honestly, the realm I was in ran out of ores I could mine, so I just popped on back home. Oh yeah, look at that. There it is. 1,500 of this T3 ore. I've got T3 cobalt. I don't think there was any cobalt in that area. It was more of just the gems. Oh, no, no, no. This right here. Okay, I was going to say. This stuff too. The green one. The pursuit. Which is... Whew, it's a hefty bunch, let me tell you. While perusing through more upgrades, I did find something very interesting. The biggest reason that farming took me so long was because of the four or five hits for almost every type of resource. We have empowers the caster's tool to deal increased damage to resource nodes and increase their yield on hit. Can be charged to increase the number of empowered hits. I would have to decide on what tool to put this on, but for now, I would make myself a nice dauntless axe. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Like, look at that's the one I was holding before. I mean, truth be told, I actually like that look better, the one the companion has. But this one, I mean, you can obviously tell it's a quality difference. I also made myself a juicy amount of ammo for my bow. As I was ready to swing on day 76, I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah, we're just one-hitting trees right now. I even made myself this insane challenge. I wonder if I could chop... You see all these trees right here? I'm going to chop them all down, and then we're just going to pick them up and see how much trees we get. And this is what it looks like, guys. I... <laughs> oh my god. There's going to be so many logs to pick up here. It actually got to a point where I couldn't move and my companion wasn't around. Only thing left to do was this, I guess. Well, what if I do this? You need to be revived. Maybe they come to save me. Maybe they come to save me. With how much wood I was able to farm up in half the time, this would truly bring me happiness and my newest addiction. Now I just love chopping anything down because most of the time it only took one swing or a hit. While being back at home, the plan now was to turn most of the wood I'd farmed up into paper. The reason being is that I needed more essences for repairing my stuff. I had just one more problem though. I wanted to get the maximum I could from the paper press and this gave me the idea of building a new workbench as a whole. All the new augmentations to get the best stats I could as well. This will do one, two... How many? Oh, actually, we could just literally do them all. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm going to do 4,000 paper. The funniest thing about all this, just like in Valheim and a few other games, as long as I slept while crafting, it would actually speed up the process twice as fast. And now to just test out the one thing I've been wanting for a while now. Ooh, this thing could have six charges. I love it. It looks so pretty. Look at that. View, view, view. I had to see what all the chatter was about and really give it my best go. The first stop would be a nice little cave. I don't know what that means, but there's like a little hand thing. So let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. There's one. Oh my God. What the fudge? Holy crap. This thing is beautiful. As you could probably tell, I was making my way towards the last boss while standing inside this realm. What I didn't seem to realize at the time, this wasn't exactly a boss fight, but rather something a lot more interesting. Oh God. Are you ready? Oh, it's this dude. Whoa, what the? F and that's it. We win, guys. We win. That was actually one of the easiest fights ever. I lied. Okay. Don't like how fast this guy running at me. Freaking me out, man. Killed him. Oh, what the fudge? Yeah, we go up. Let me just kill him, please. Let me just kill him. Oh, baby. This right here, man, this is why I put myself through everything I did. All right, let's see. This is level 63 plus plus 989 damage. We have 979. While I was shocked at first, I didn't realize how much lower my Dauntless Bow was in damage compared to the Mystic. And also infusions helped so much more. So then if I put this on. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my god. 1,400 damage. My gear score is 72. Oh. Oh, I'm glad it took that thing off. I'm gonna be honest, didn't really like it. It looked cool, but it just wasn't practical. This is nice. I can't believe it took me this long to realize, but on day 83, my rested buff. I only had a four, and just building a couple of things in a matter of minutes, I could have had something better. Sheltered, warm, and well lit. 
As I was unsure about this next card being played, a wave of uncertainty took over. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, how hard things were about to become, or what bosses were still out there. Obviously, going forward from here on out, every animal to ore was super important. Important for upgrades and all of the above. This was the moment I was fighting for. The Oberon's bounty spell giving me charges on my pick. It allowed me to break every single ore down in just a single blow. On top of that, the rested buff was about two times better. Even the dungeons here were giving me upgrades right out of the cage. We got etched ingot, which is- oh, bronze. That's a new one too. With day 85 here, I was given another quest. Prior from Puck, but one that actually wanted me to collect some more books. So as I picked up the very last book, the quests, this game was coming to an end. All I had to do now was find that one card that gave me double damage at the start of my playthrough. To end the day off right, I made sure to get the last few portal cards crafted up. Different realms meant fun times, and I love that. Something I would learn today was how I actually had the other gauntlet cards. I thought at the time I only had the one, but from clearing the quest, it apparently gave me all three. Oh, what is this? Look at those towers. Is that part of it? Because I needed the three key components for opening this door to the watch, this realm asked me to defeat a sun giant. And in doing so, I found exactly that. Oh, look at this, dude. I don't know what's happening. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, that was a good dodge. Okay. So the head is definitely the crit zone. I don't know where the weak spot is, though. Nope. You can create twisters. I'm getting out, out of that. Hey, Vanquisher the Colossus. This was easily one of the coolest boss fights I would remember for days to come. I was getting like a sort of Shadow of the Colossus feels from it. The next jump had me traveling to the Swamp Gauntlet. Oh, look at that thing. Man, that thing out in the distance is spooky. Also, what I said about the Sun Giant, I lied. Oh my god, did I ever lie. <laughs> what are you? That's a humbaba. I want to fight a humbaba. Oh, I actually hit it. Oh, it moves trees and everything. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh. Oh my god. Humbaba. I'm sorry. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh god. Oh god. I can't move. I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away. We're running away. I know that I shouldn't, but I really want to. Please don't chase me, please don't chase me, please don't chase me, please don't That sounds like he's chasing me! Dude, so, he's so, so, oh, he's so chasing me, he's so chasing me. Hi guys, what's up? Don't mind Humbaba. You can't follow me. I think. Oh no, you did that, okay. You know what I need to do? You know what I need to do? I need to run this way. No, it is still chasing me. Hold on. You know what? If we have to do this together, let's do it. Words could not express how this giant beast made me feel or the fact that I forgot to upgrade my tools before traveling to these new places. As you know, I needed a new dagger, which was this. Moments later, I was off to the swamps again and to see my new best friend. Of course, I would have to fight that insane creature again, but I was also curious to see what else this realm had. Oh, I just killed all four of them. Oh my God. A <gasps> hundred and ninety eight thousand guys. A hundred and ninety eight thousand. Not even thirty thousand. The duelist card is is the shiznik. I mean, still, like, really good damage. Okay. You need to stop that. No more blowy blowy stuff. Kill him. You got this, buddy. Oh, it even has real eyes. What the fudge? That's not normal. I also did need to find the next piece of the puzzle. Having my spyglass out on day 89, I was hoping to find the next location. Getting a little closer to something that almost felt arena-like? Just before leaving this place, I found some giants roaming the plains. Are they just like normal deeps? What the fuck? You see this? Like, what? What are you? Hi. Hello. You're a big fella, aren't you? Whoa. 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 Well, what are you throwing? Ah, uh, you should stop that. Goodbye. And there's a death. Oh, they drop. Next was the forest realm. The last piece to the puzzle and opening up a portal. I was so ready for this. But something was pushing me in the direction of another thing. Oh, it looks like a, like just, it looks good. But dang, I don't like it. Just like the first few Jotuns I fought, this one was really no different. If anything, it was a bit on the tankier side. You're going down, Elder. You're going down. Fire. 
on the dance floor. Whoa! With a quick travel to Nelly's realm the next day, I climbed my way back to the top, and the rest was history. Here we go, I guess. We're going to the watch? Okay. I oh my god. Jeez. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, Puck! He's just straight up talking to me. Alright. My eyes are on stalks. I admit, credence towards this ramshackled stabilizer wavered like wisps in sunlight. I won't dare set foot within the watch, but fret not. This isn't the last you'll see of Robin. I'll call when the time is nigh to fulfill your end of the bargain, as per our agreement. Don't you recall pledging your troth? You made a commitment by accepting my aid. I guess I did. Oh, wow. Okay. The contract was made, sealed by ancient words. Each kindness given must beget an equal one in turn. I have given many. And what value can be placed upon one's own mortal coil? Doubtless a question we will answer in time. So, attempt to protest, plead, scream, or fate's decree binds me. Whatever so sore be oh, sores be tied. How's this? Your lips yearn to part through my glamour. Indeed. How thou hast grown. Oh, don't give me that face. Have I not ushered you well, friend? And I'll continue doing so when Byra thaws from her throne. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. I need you in Nightingale. As much as you long to be home. I want to go to Nightingale. In return for my counseling. Mm -hmm. You will help me. Such were the terms of our contract. Know this. The path you walk leads to a place we both desire. Would that I could tell you this was a reverie. But you more than dream in our wild. These are no mere visions that can disappear with a blink. As I am an honest puck, if we have an earned luck, now to scape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call. So good night to winter's fall. Ready your hands if we be friends. In time, in time, we shall both restore amends. I hope you're telling me the truth. I do. Puck, I'm trusting you so far. Please don't turn on me. Let's do this. Bye, and I'll see you tonight. I don't know where this is taking me. <laughs> I'm so excited. The watch, here we go. Oh. Visit the watch. Oh my god, it's third person? Has it always been third person? I don't remember it being third person. Interesting. Look at this place. Uh, why do I, <laughs> I run so fast? It's like a blip up there. Oh, that's so cool to see. But normally this place is like the, the portal hub for everyone to kind of play together. Oh, crafting benches. Oh, <gasps> excellent upgrade bench. After finishing up every quest with the majority of people inside the watch, I was led to the last person, someone who invited me in traveling to a new realm. Whoa, wait, what are these? Okay, I, I guess we're <laughs> just going through random stuff. This is an unknown realm of level 60. Kill the apex creature. Whoa, I've been getting tier 4 essences. Holy crap, I just realized that. Look at that. I just realized that. Oh my god. And then we were getting... Other bars of stuff. Oh, ammo. Tier 3 ammo. Oh, that's the, the big one. I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry, buddy.
All this buildup was to something I didn't think I'd ever see in a place like this. Oh, we have to kill something called Janna? Ooh, it's Janna. Oh, God, in there. Okay. Oh, it's one of you! I love you guys! Oh, boy. The whole fight was long. It was unexpected and pretty much by myself because the companion went down every two seconds they were up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Gotta kill this guy first. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Let me get you, buddy. Let me get you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I reached the portal. Oh, we're getting tier 4 essences, though. Never mind. Never mind. That's actually amazing. After learning there were so many more quests to do, I just had one thing on my mind. Yeah, there it is. Okay. When it says precious, that just means you have to do copper, silver, or gold, I believe. Like, those specific ones, because those are, like, the precious metals. So, I just upgraded my... Oh, wait, what? Are... Can we upgrade it again? Oh, yeah. See, now we need 75, and it's going to go again, and I think that's when it goes to blue, uh, rare, and then it goes to the other one. With a new day here and showing off all my goodies, there were a few more pets I just had to see for myself. That thing is nightmare fuel, and it's going to eat me when I sleep. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's awful. Oh, it's so cute. That is, that is actually kind of, yeah. Oh, you're a cat. You're an actual cat. Wait, where'd the other one go? I also learned that each location I built in had a limit to what I could place, and honestly, I disliked that. But because these were the last few days, it really didn't matter too much to me. Kidding. <laughs> of course, it bothered me, but I did do something about it. I started with some crude foundations, trying to find a nice level to start building this thing out in, adding all the walls with the windows, and then trying to get a feel for the roofing. Anything that would be a nice addition and give some contrast to the place. Having a build of single materials always looked strange to me. So with the foundation ready, this was exactly what I was looking for. Now for the finishing touches and the second brain blast I would have during this build. Yeah, this place is just going to be open concept. It's going to be nice. So this is going to be for smelter, tannery, uh, hello? Today was all about my cooking and the most HP I could get from everything. The problem I was having now was apparently certain food took too many days or hours in real time to cook. I slept. Lots. <laughs> this left me with just a few more days of fun, but man was the food so worth it. And that's, that's going to give me 400 max HP from that. So we're going to use that. Get some of that. <laughs> I'm going to farm so many humbubbas. Oh my god, that is amazing. That's actually insane. The one thing I really wanted to do, however, was show the chat. Because yes, I streamed all of this on Twitch, okay? This was my best friend ever. Oh, it's running. Like, it's it's just... Oh, is it looking at me? Oh, yeah. Oh. Stop it. Fall down, please. Goodbye. This is how strong I've become, though. It is insane. Absolutely insane. Also, this guy gives me so much food. I love it. I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. <laughs> I gotta get out of the poison. It's gonna kill me. Oh my god. Whew, that poison, man. Just standing in that would kill me alone. As I made it my mission to finish up a few more realms, this next one had me at the desert sort of area. With everything being super tamed, I really thought these beetles were the boss. Sadly, that just wasn't the case. And now I had another sun giant to fight, and this one with a lot more HP than the last. Hi, how you doing? How you doing up there? Nope, nope, don't want what you're selling. Oh my god. I did have to call it quits here with it spawning in all these chest pieces. I didn't have nearly enough damage, so the main focus had to be the boss. I will say though, the jump dodge combo is the best thing ever. Please, 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 he's no HP! Yes, oh my god, thank you. Oh, finally, oh my god. Did not blink that entire time. Oh. Whew. Now we get tier 4 essences. This is what I need. This stuff is the good stuff. Look at this. All that tier 4 essence. And then we get more rubies. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. Look at that is huge. If, if I was magic user. Tier 5 bars. 
Magic is 10% damage, which is crazy. With 100 days here, somehow this game still wasn't even close to done. Wrong about that now, but I was told to craft up another realm card and be on my way. Dude, not even Gloom is there. Look at this. Gloom is actually really, really strong too. 60. I was like saving these for something and then I'm like, okay, we're just going here now. <laughs> sure. Oh my God. Uh, let's do it. That's a really big mushroom. All right, what else we got here? Let's see. Oh, I really don't like the swamps, but you know what? We're gonna like it today. Woo! I did a thousand! I crit- Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, my guy is not gonna live. If there was ever a place to make me feel so insignificant and small, it would be the new Ascended Realms. I had no idea what to do next, and this left me a bit stumped. Somehow, I also had all the quests finished up in minutes, leaving me wondering, did Nightingale even exist? Would I be able to explore the place ever? And where had all the rum gone? Truthfully though, guys, I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. For everything you've done for me and for those around, I will never stop thanking you guys for that and just being filled with so much gratitude. It goes without saying, but you are all the best, and I truly mean that. And this is Ray Pandas, signing out. Bye, guys.